Joining me now is Jason Nichols. He's a senior lecturer in the African American Studies Department at the University of Maryland. Uh, Jason, thanks so much for joining us. We heard from Grace in Dan Williams' story saying one way to divide and conquer is to make people feel like they're comparing and competing for resources. Frame this for us from a historical standpoint. Is that what's behind the tensions that have uh, occurred in this country through, years, through the years? Absolutely. Uh, you can go all the way back to the 1600s when you had Bacon's Rebellion and you had Africans and uh, indentured servants who were European. And one of the things that happened when uh, the powers that be saw both of these groups come together and actually gather arms and fight against it, one of the things that they started to do was codify separation. So we've seen that historically and we've seen people overcome that and groups actually come together. But one of the things that's always been a part of uh, any kind of structural racism, any kind of white supremacy, has been creating hierarchies to divide people. And in New York City, uh, where anti-Asian hate crime just soared uh, nearly ninefold in 2020, I was just looking at the statistics. Only two of the 20 people arrested last year in connection with these attacks were white. Uh, 11 were African Americans, which gets to this kind of these deep-seated tensions that we were discussing. Um, how do you erase these suspicions? How do you change this? Is this one step forward, what we're seeing in Chicago? Well, I definitely think so. I think one of the things that we have to remember and we have to educate people on is the years and years and decades of cooperation between Asian Americans and African Americans. Uh, you have people like Mike Tagawa, who was a Black Panther in Seattle. You had uh, actually several Asian American Black Panthers. You had Asian Americans in Chicago, for example, who were uh, together uh, along with African Americans and Latinos for the election of Harold Washington. We saw Asian Americans, African Americans, and Latinos come together, and, and Native Americans as well, in the election of Barack Obama. So there's always been some cooperation, uh, understanding that we have uh, mutual interests at heart. But at the same time, there have always been these divisive things. We know in New York, you cited New York's uh, statistics there, with African Americans, of course, they remember when Akai Gurley was shot, uh, Asian Americans came out and, and uh, protested against uh, an unarmed black man who was shot in his own building. So I, uh, we have to come together. We have to educate people about cooperation and the good things that come from mutual cooperation between two different groups. Jason, studies uh, have shown that uh, anti-Asian American hate crimes uh, reported to police jumped 149% from 2019 to 2020. We're seeing these Black Lives Matters protests. We saw the Floyd verdict. Uh, now we're seeing this legislation that just passed today in the House that's going to the desk of Joe Biden. It, do you see this as kind of a watershed moment where the U.S. is finally coming to terms of reckoning on race? Or, I mean, obviously we have a long way to go, but what more needs to be done? Well, I think there's a whole lot more that needs to be done on the grassroots level and, of course, uh, from a policy level. Uh, we need, of course, police reform. We need uh, education in terms of making these groups you talked about uh, get together, African Americans, Asian Americans, and other groups uh, to build mutual understanding. Um, as far as this being a watershed moment, I think the United States has had several watershed moments. Um, I think it's time for us to think more about big changes rather than incremental change. And that's what we've done historically is make, you know, certain strides forward. Hopefully we're getting to a point where we start making big changes. We start actually trying to make sure that black women don't die during childbirth. Uh, we make sure that people aren't dying at the hands of police uh, when they're unarmed and not attacking. We need these kinds of major changes and I think that uh, intercommunal uh, respect will help push that along. Jason Nichols, thanks so much for joining us, providing analysis. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.